Okay. HGL, great so too. you guys, you guys are rocking and rolling. Well so done. Well. Anything we didn't get to that you are any point to make? Because we need something to fill up a couple right, minutes now. Right, right. Well, if you want, we can talk a little bit more about the schools. Um, like one of the things I would tell you guys is the retirement, you know, the uh, CalSTRS thing I mentioned, right. the retirement system hit up Santa Ana, doubled their contributions in three years. Just doubled Stunning. them. And again, the question there always is, are those teachers that are making that money? Is it administrators? You know, how many administrators are there? They're way over, they're, they're totally top heavy. We, we could talk about that. We can, there, there's so many. Yeah, in a way, isn't it telling? that parents want to go from one school district, in this case Anaheim, to another. Isn't right. that like, it's, it just seems to me the whole, and I, I can see Anaheim's argument is we're struggling, we've got problems, we need the money, these people are leaving. But in a way, do they step back and say, this is a referendum on us. Mm -hmm. this, no, is, no. this is the market telling us no, what they we do, are not working. What they do, in fact, is they blame the students and parents, uh, number one, seriously. Like I, I talk to teachers all the time who say, you can't rate our performance because our kids are lousy. They don't use that word ever, uh, but they will say the kids are culturally unsuited or their language makes it impossible. But you know, there's ample documentation that says if you don't teach a kid to read by grade three, they're going to have a really tough time after you know from fourth grade on. Yeah. Well, and yeah. we don't have time to sit around and blame the kids. The second thing is they, they, the second thing they blame, of course, is funding. You raise the issue of local area control funding. Santa Ana got a hundred million dollars in targeted money because it's a poor and mostly minority district. Sixty million dollars, sixty percent of that money went to teacher in pay increases in three years. They had sixteen percent pay increase in three years. And then they laid yeah. off 330 teachers. Roberto, let me lay a big philosophical question on you. And sure. it's, you know, there's been this, um, especially more from the left, this idea of the importance of public education. In and of itself, the idea of public education is a sacred thing. And that, you know, it's a, co a, a common culture and a fair access for, for every student and all that. Um, maybe is a time we say, we will take care of that part of it from a regulatory standpoint. But that, you know, let's have more charters. Let's have, uh, let's have more, uh, you know, private, if you will, schools, you know. And, of course, not, you know, it's not like major corporations, but, you know, they can be, yeah. they can be non-profit. They're non-profits. Yeah. But, but have private schools and that the public system no longer is serving uh, a great number of, of, our, of our kids. Sure. Although, I, I mean, one thing that I would argue, or, or as you said, as, from a philosophical standpoint is, we have private schools. They're called private, and you pay for them. I mean, I went to a Catholic school. I grew up in a, in a rough area, let's say, of Pico Rivera, Whittier, where the public school was not very good. And my parents selected to make a choice, and they sent us to Catholic schools. I mean, some would argue that that was a huge mistake, but... Yeah, uh, you and I both survived it. But right. should that uh, be... It's kind of like health care, then. Sure, Are you sure. entitled to health care? Are you entitled to a good education? What if a good education means you have to go to a private school? I just school? want to correct you on one thing, though, because yes. charter schools are public schools. Yes, yes. They are yes. regulated by That's either true. the local district, yeah. the county, good or the point. state. Good and point. And they're publicly funded. Yes. And so this oversight shows in side-by-side -side experiments, or, or studies rather, in L.A. and in Orange County. You can go to Santa Ana. They've got some of the best charter schools in the nation. So right. does L.A. And L.A.'s uh, uh, school board just went fully charter. I mean, they just had right. a, a massive state, uh, rather, uh, county uh, district election. But, and but here's my member. question. A lot of times I can't get information out of a public school system. Where I start to get a little bit curious as a reporter when I get into charters and privatization and I see this all the time in places like the county where they will do a private public sector partnership. Mm -hmm. You can get all the records off the public sector of the partnership. When you start asking for what, the private what, sector. What, what record can't you get off the, from the private sector? In, oh, in a tons. way, I would say, well, I tons. would say in some ways, maybe the they, salaries you pay or whatever. I, I no. would think a lot of it is oh, no, no, no. public. But uh, the performance of the kids, you can't get that? Well, I don't know about that in terms of charges. That's what I, I want to know with the school. Are the kids uh, being educated? You well, know? Yeah. It, I, I'd like to know a lot of things. I, I want to know how much administrators are making. I want to see email communications. If somebody trips on a sidewalk, yeah, I, I want to see what the maintenance I would was. Too. There's I can a tell lot you this. of stuff about I can tell you this. these institutions here's, you want to know. Here's the primary metric that we know how much money each district pays for or gets in cash for each student. We know that, and it's the same whether it's a charter school or a public school. Mm -hmm. We know the district gets a little bit of a VIG, you know, a little, like two or three percent on each kid who goes to a charter. They take some of it, so the charter gets less. And yet the studies show the charter kids perform better on state tests than their union-controlled school peers. So those are the two key metrics. I would argue, even if they 
were paying administrators exorbitant amounts of money. They were doing the thing we asked them to do. Mm -hmm. And I don't care how much money they pay an administrator, if they're getting great results, that's what we pay them to do. And I don't care how much the union saves money if they're actually not producing the result we asked them to, and they're not. This is like the Soviet Union where they used to say, uh, we pretend to work, they pretend to pay us. Right. This is like, we pretend to educate you and you pretend to learn. And then, you know, you go into our community. Public education is absolutely inherent to democracy. It's inherent to prosperity. If we don't have this public education system working, we're all screwed. Can now, I say that? Well, here's the yes, question. Yes. What happens to the rest of the, and I'm just kind of playing a little devil's sure. advocate here, but what happens to that overall system if you are, in a sense, taking different resources out of it and establishing these different charters. And so for example, if you go to the charter in this neighborhood, you're great, but what happens to the public school that's still there? And you know, am I in a sense, am I funding, I guess this is my question, am I funding, am I private, or am I publicly funding private schools? No. Well, but uh, you're saying a charter private, school is uh, a public but a school. charter, remember. Now, and so what if it, uh, it goes from this public school here to this public charter? So be it, if that's what people want. Well, but want, you're moving you know? resources around would be the well, argument okay, here, right? You if know, you have this overall system. Yes, I'm moving resources from a system that doesn't work to one that does. Then get rid of the system altogether. I, and just I think do that ultimately system. one may have to. And we, I would be and satisfied with it. And we'll, we'll have both of you back on for number 73 and number 24, well, we're whatever gonna go it is. We're going to have a post off my there conversation. There you go. Okay, thanks, guys. Like it was good. Good stuff. Thank All you. Right. Take care.